This video is for educational use only. Good day, sir. This is Decadent Labrador, and we are Group 4. And we're going to discuss the contemporary global with integration of COVID-19. So our objective is the presentation will discuss the impact of globalizations on governments and the role of institutions like the United Nations in the global governance, particularly in the context of the COVID-19. So based on the objectives, we're going to follow the rules of the United Nations and global governance so that we can avoid the, the COVID to ourselves and to our community. And the introduction, so what is global governance? So global governance is a complex system of rules, institutions, and process the govern interactions among nation and international organizations and non-state actors to address global challenges. This slide discusses the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on global governance. It emphasizes that the pandemic has revealed weakness in existing institutions and processes leading to a renewed focus on state power and a retreat from multilateralism. However, the pandemic also demonstrates the urgent need for inter international cooperation to address global health threats and other traditional challenges. Effect of globalization. Globalization has led to increase interconnectedness among countries impacting governance in in areas such as trade finance and security so uh, the globalization is uh, effect in our world because uh, many trade in other country such as food did not deliver because of COVID-19 so so next Governments face challenges balancing national interests with glo global responsibilities in a, in a rapidly changing world. So the gover governments face the challenges of our world because COVID-19 is not a joke. Many people died because of COVID-19. So our food is limited because uh many many rules to follow because COVID-19 is not a joke so this slide talks about institution governing international relations so as we can see here that uh, it tells that the UN or United Nations promote peace security and cooperation and um, uh, for, of all among the nations. So uh, this institution ranging from intergovernmental inter organizations like the United Nations uh, uh, to international financial institution like the World Bank. World Bank is an uh, example. Uh, for the WTO or World Trade Organization, it regulates international trade and resolves trade disputes. So, uh, as long as, uh, as the same as IMF. Uh, so, they play a very important crucial role in promoting international cooperation, resolving disputes, and addressing global issues such as climate change, poverty, and human rights. So that what that's the importance of the Institute governing international relations. So this line difference between internationalism and globalism. Internationalism emphasizes cooperation among nations to address global issue. So in my understanding, internal internationalism is a political principle that advocates greater political or economic cooperation among states and nation and also it is associated with other political movements and ideologies but can also 
reflect a uh, doctrine, belief system, or movement it in itself. Next, globalism advocates for interconnectedness and the integration of economies and societies on a global scale. So, globalism refers to the growing in interconnection of nation economic. And also, it represents the flow of financial products, goods, technology, information, and job, and job across nation, <clears throat> borders, and culture. In economic terms, it describes an interdependence of countries around the globe fostered through free trade. Rules and functions of the United Nations. The United Nations is an international organization founded in 1945 after World War II to promote peace, security, and cooperation among countries. It plays a multifaceted role in the international community. The United Nations is an international organization that promotes global peace, security, and cooperation. Its main roles include maintaining international peace, promoting human rights, delivering humanitarian aid, supporting sustainable development, upholding international law, and fostering international cooperation. The United Nations works to address global challenges and improve the lives of people worldwide. Overall, the United Nations plays a crucial role in addressing global issues, fostering cooperation, and promoting a more peaceful and just world. This slide 10, challenges of global governance in the 21st century. So global governance in the 21st century faces revealed challenges. The shift from a cosmopolitan approach to national development has created a tension between international and national priorities. The world has experienced significant crisis and turning points such as the global financial crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic which have highlighted the need for effective governance climate change. It's a pressing policy from the problem that requires global governance but the lack of enforcement mechanism at the global level makes it difficult to make binding decisions. Additionally, global governance has uh, failed to meet the rises expectations of the world's popula population for a better and safer future. Leading to the crisis in global governance, these challenges are further compounded by the domain-specific nature, international governance, and the limited legitimacy of the global governance institutions. Additional explanation about challenges of the global governance 21st century. Climate change. This is referred to the long-term shift in the global regional, regional climate patterns it caused primarily by human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels, which release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The impact of the climate change are the Fahrenheit, including rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and disruption to ecosystem. Terrorism. This is involved the use of the violence and intimidation, often for the political and ideological reason to achieve specific objective. Terrorism poses a significant threat to global security and stability. As it can lead to loss of life, economic damage and political instability. And cyber security. This refers to the protection of the computer system and network from digital attack. 
In today's uh, interconnected world, cybersecurity is crucial for individuals, business, and governments. Cyber attack can result in financial loss, data branches, and the disruption to critical infrastructure. Global health crisis. This is a large-scale public health emergency that can spread rapidly across borders. The COVID-19 pandemic is as a prime example. Addressing this crisis requires coordinated international effort to develop vaccines, distribute medical supplies, and implement public health measures. And, and since these challenges demonstrate the need for strong global cooperation and effective governance to address complex interconnected issues that impact people worldwide, so this slide, relevance of the state amid globalization. The state plays a crucial role in promoting national interests while engaging in global cooperation. Sovereignty versus inter interdependence, balancing sovereignty with the need for international cooperation. Here's my explanation. Balancing sovereignty with the need for international cooperation is the key challenge in global politics. Sovereignty refers to a nation right to govern itself without inter interference. However, in an increasing inter interconnected world issues, like climate change, global trade, and security often requires nations to cooperate, sometimes sacrificing some degree of sovereignty to participate in international agreements or organization. So, so ad adapting to the challenge and opportunities presented by globalization. Here's my explanation. Adapting to globalization involves recognizing and leveraging the interconnectedness of global economics, cultures, and technologies challenge in inc include increased competition, cultural homogenization, and economic dependency.